And this truck uh, does go. Let's hold it up. Oh yeah. Oh yes, semi power buddy. Is that a cop? I'm gonna slow down guys, but Good afternoon everybody, welcome back. This is Pedro. In today's video, we're gonna get the behind the wheel of a 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Uh, this one that we have in front of us is a Bighorn model, which is a lower stream model of all the eight available trims that you can get for the Ram 1500. This one that we have in front of us is a quad cab, which is a smaller cab, believe it or not, because before usually you used to have a, a just an extended cab. Now they put a fourth door, but this is a little bit of a tight stretch here. As you can see, there's not much room here. It's kind of like a squished crew cab kind of thing. That's what they call quad cab for the uh, Ram 1500 pickups. Obviously, you can get a crew cab, which is a little bit longer, gives you more room. But uh, this one is equipped with what they call the quad cab. Now, this one here that we have is a 4x2 model with a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. So the color of this Ram is a black pearl coat metallic, which is a really nice black color. I mean, Rams look very good in black color. Now, this one here is equipped with the Knight edition package which is a you know $2100 package that gives you a lot of dark features like grill black letters all kinds of black parts of the body of course you got the black 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter as you can see guys here and black mirrors obviously this one's got some factory I believe that's our factory tinted windows uh coming around to the back guys part of the package is this 20 inch wheels which are a black mate type of wheel wrapped around Bridgestone Duelers 275 millimeter tires heading out to the back we have the black bumper as well as you can see and you also get some blacked out or kind of like a dark chrome tailpipe as you can see which is really cool so it's really nice what they done with the midnight edition so a big corn here and also dark so black ram everything's pretty much blacked out sort of like a black appearance package if I may say so so, so coming up here guys we don't have any type of led lighting or anything like that we have just halogen lights headlights high beams and we have a daytime right light here which is a kind of a amber color we have uh just regular halogen fog lights of course you see we got all types of sensors for the system here for the radars and the uh you know the pilot assist as well so uh really nice i mean it looks really good i really love the way this ram looks uh even though it's not a fully loaded model or anything like that you know, still a very nice uh, looking, you know, the wheels just look perfect. Everything's really nice, really laid All out. All right, so coming back here, we have the key here with us. You can see guys for the RAM key, pretty simple. We do have, for the key, we do have an automatic or remote start. And we don't have any, we don't have any button to open up the gate, just lock and unlock. But so we have to come here and just open up the, the, the tailgate pretty much manually. This is, uh, there, there are two types of bed for the RAM. We have a five foot, seven inch one and a 6.4 a long bed i believe this is the 5.7 uh i'm not correct guys but correct me if i'm wrong but i think this is the uh 5.7 foot 7 inch bed here so as you can see this is pretty much not much of any type of any accessories we don't have no side lights we have no led lights here in the back we have some lights here on the top that shine down but other than that except for some hooks uh there is nothing in the back as you can see this one does have the ram basically uh, some sort of uh cover that's put been put on this is not a spray on line it says ram so that must be a factory option for this protection of the paint back here so but it's very nice uh this one here can tow up to about 12,750 pounds guys if i'm correct with this v8 um i'll put that up on the screen for you guys as well and for as much as payload is around the 2300 pound one so i'll put all the information guys if i'm a little off on the screen for really you guys nice. so unfortunately here we don't have any type of steps or anything that obviously dodge offers the multi-sectioned tailgate and all that kind of stuff this one being just a big corn is just more of a regular base model so not much of of options here for your bed and all kind of configurations but you can definitely add them to your configuration we do have a backup camera here as you can see so and of course there's a hitch for towing and all that stuff so so as you can see guys we also have here a sliding window here for the back as well that's part of the package of this ram 1500 let's go ahead and check the uh, the inside guys here 
obviously this being the quad cab which is kind of like just an extended cab obviously this is pretty tight you can see you got seats and they do come up as well but obviously for carrying persons and stuff it's going to be a little tight uh this does not fold down or anything like that there's no uh, armrest here for the center oh, parts in your interior we have this nice. gray cloth uh, really nice feeling seats, kind of similar to Ford's. In terms of, we got some nice white stitching here as well. These seats are a little bit, pretty much decently back. Let's grab the door handle and try to get in. Uh, yeah, but it's a little tight for sure. I'm about 5'11 and I'm really nice. squeezed I mean, in I'm here. Obviously, you got plenty so. of headroom and you got some lights here as well. This is pretty much of a, a more of a base model. Of course, I will get the, the crew cab, which is much bigger. You got the seats here. I'm sure you can fit it. Pretty kids feel comfortable here in the back. Uh, for adults, this might be gonna be a bit of tight, especially if we got tall adults on our four seat. In the middle, we've got a couple of cup holders. We got a little storage bin. We got two U. Um, we have two AC outlets. We have a uh, lots of USB connections here in the middle, and we do have a three prong 400 watt here for. Uh, for connections and uh, that's about it guys so we have you know it's pretty decently we got connections and AC outlets for your rear passengers so the seats are a little bit upright you know it's not as comfortable but obviously it's better this is kind of like the common size seats uh, a little bit tight but obviously they work if you want to carry at least uh, it's actually a little more comfortable the way they actually put a door instead of having the seat slide up and then bring somebody through the side but it is not not bad at all for this uh, for this quad cab edition so, right, so coming on here right. to the wheels and tires of this Ram 1500 of course we got this midnight edition wheels uh which are 20 inch you know kind of a semi they're semi a little bit glossy but they're more of a mate gloss uh these are 275 millimeter bridgestone dueler hls and of course you can see we got a pretty good size brake system here these are like 14.4 inch rotors in the back and 14.9 in the front so these are all single piston calipers but pretty good size brakes for this ram do look the way the wheels look they're really nice and as you coming up here guys you can see we get a huge caliper for this one uh, i'm surprised dodge doesn't put it obviously i don't know if they put them on the trx but um you know this is a pretty good size it's a 14.9 inch rotors on the front for this ram 1500 so all right guys let's go check out real quick what's underneath the hood of this ram 1500 all right so we're gonna just light this up guys at least we got some hydraulic assistance here on this ram 1500 hood it's coming in here to the engine bay of this ram 1500 we got the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. Now, of course, this one is not, uh, this one is well, actually first, but this one has made it to an 8 speed automatic driving the rear wheels. Of course, 4x4 is an option on this uh, uh, Ram 1500s. Now, you also have the option of putting a hybrid, a mild hybrid system on this V8, which gives you an additional 130 pound feet of kind of launch torque at the middle. You can also get uh, the V6, the 3.6 point, liter V6 with that, uh, just a regular one or the hybrid version as well or you can get a three liter v6 diesel as well so you have that option you got quite a bit of engine options and of course if you go to the t-rex you get that supercharged va which is on another level but this is just you know continuing to the regular 1500 uh pickup trucks so the v8 the v6 and the turbo diesel v6 I think Nissan, Chevy, and Dodge are the only ones that offer a diesel engine in their pretty much full-size pickup. So um, other than that, you have to go to a heavy-duty version of the truck. So, so let's go ahead and get the hood closed. And there All right, we go, let's go ahead and get into the driver's side of this Dodge Ram. So coming up here, guys, soft, but this is a bit tougher than material than the rear door, uh, the rear passenger door. We got, we got soft leather, we got all your controls for your mirrors and windows. There's a little bit of a cloth trim here, which is really nice. The same cloth trim that's on the on the, on the seats as well, which is really nice. So running up a little bit of a different different types of materials here, which is really nice. Really nice, nice job. We got plenty of storage here for all your things and drinks and all that kind of stuff in your here phone. So coming up here, guys, the cloth seats, which are really nice. It's like a dark slate cloth seats, which are, you know, excellent. They do are, they are heated as well. And these are eight-way power seats for both front passenger seats. Both are heated and powered seats. Leather covered steering wheel, as you can see, guys, here, this is really nice. Um, of course, you got that nice material here on the top as well with the central indication. You do have adjustable pedals. We do have the... Uh, emergency or the parking brake here your light controls and all that kind of stuff here for you guys and also we do have a manually tilting and telescoping adjustment for the steering wheel as well so let's go ahead and jump in all right it's interior so it's really nice obviously we really like the way this interior is laid out uh plenty of 
a visibility you know of course we don't have a sunroof here but we got plenty of visibility everything's well laid out you got you know a 12 volt connection up here you guys more storage from here we got a nice trim like a darkish trim here in the middle with a bit of aluminum uh plastic uh surrounding there we got the uh, 8.4 inch screen here dual ac all kinds of storage and all i'm gonna be going at one second guys here let's go ahead and now uh, i got the key with me here let's go ahead and, up and get this ram started Oof, and there you can hear that gorgeous 5.7 liter v8 startup let's go ahead and give it a little bit of rev oh yeah that sounds fantastic yes that is a very nice sounding uh v8 for, for sure so of course you know used to have uh, driven of course ecoboost uh engines from that also the v8 from ford but this sounds just this v8 just got that raw let's go right now kind of feeling so so all right, this, uh, this gentleman over here, we have a seven inch display here. As you can see, we got a digital speedometer. We don't have analog gauges on the side here as well, but you got plenty of screen setups here. You can do all kinds of things. You can scroll through the radio, sunlight. I'm sure we got all kinds of miles per gallon. I'm sure you got temperatures, um, all kinds of transmission things, volts, battery. You also have how much, um, probably it's got temperature uh, sensors as well for, for reading the, uh, the tire pressure. So coming here to the middle guys we have let's go ahead and get some ac going here put a little more from there here in the middle we have you connect system 5 with the 8.4 inch screen uh, i'm gonna go ahead and close the door guys real quick to have a little more quietness this is an 8.4 inch screen guy which has got really fantastic graphics so you can see uh kinds of kinds got all kinds of things you can have of course you got a little bit we will have navigation in this truck uh we have of course radio we get media uh of course we got comfort you have all kinds of things where you can set up the ac um we have the navigation system of course and this is really nice to the touch as well um we have the phone connections we got vehicle settings uh, as you can see in the mirror dimmer we have rear camera as well so as you can see we got that rear camera which has got fantastic graphics uh you can also zoom in as well to the uh to the hitch and uh, which is really cool it's really nice you can see we got a truck the resolutions are really nice we do have i believe there's probably six speakers in this truck which sound really nice obviously you can get and you can do upgraded stereos as well um but this is very nice kind of very got all obviously you don't have uh the 12 inch screen which goes all the way down it's got more features but this is well plenty of information great looking screen plenty i think it's a really nice system of course you got your volume control you got your tunes you got the screen off the mute button your inter intermittents uh your hazards you really do have of course as i mentioned heated seats for both front seats and a heated steering wheel as well dual sign ac and uh here we got your traction control off tow and haul you can turn off your parking sensors for front and rear lots of usb connections a lot more than i've seen lately of course you got a little pocket here for your phone and you can also slide this back here guys depending on what your needs are this is a huge way of tray of we can put things here your phones now uh, there's another uh, this is another um three-prong connection here that we have and we can slide this up and then as you can see guys here for your uh bit of drinks here because you got more stuff to put here we also have a huge camera that goes all the way back and uh, we do have also a middle section here as well but you can put them some things here your phone wallet and you got another usb connection there as well so plenty of connections a lot of usb connections and uh you know the ac is really nice and cool we got beautiful i think this is one of the best i i you know between ford's and toyota's i know toyota's got the latest ones right now but this is still a very nice and feels you know dodge has always kind of been the leading of interior for trucks so um here we have two glove compartments this is a pretty neat one here in the bottom because i think I put some mild stuff there some much smaller stuff there and we got a new uh compartment here for you all your things the club has got plenty of things so new this truck so new even it's got the things all still wrapped up so so we are on board a 2022 dutch ram guys um this one is slightly used it's got 736 miles so it's not a brand brand new one but it's basically you know still pretty much unused 2022 with no miles basically not even braked in yet so uh fantastic feeling truck obviously here we got your shift column here your little shift raw dial here and of course your buttons on we got all kinds of things for your lights and all your for your cruise control and everything here in the steering wheel feels great it's got leather on it and that uh, feels very nice you know it's a very nice interior nonetheless other than that guys um, of course you know this is a smaller you know the co-op cap thing but and of course you might be able to get a sort of on this ones but coming up here guys we got lights as you can see we got um um, we got the rear sliding 
window in the back there you can open and here we get up you can see you got assists here sos buttons for that and another you know of course here your glass holder as well we got also a home link system here and we have lights here for your, your mirror as well so really nice well equipped even for even though this is a lower bitcoin model it still has plenty of equipment you know heated seats and all that kind of stuff so of course you go to the higher trims you know laramie you go to the uh longhorn or the all that kind of stuff i've been in so many of course i reviewed one in this car show which has a fantastic interior with the wood and all that all depends on your budget and Eight. what you're doing so so let's go ahead and put this thing on drive Let's just go ahead and hit the road and see how this ram feels like out here. Let's go ahead and give us a turn around here, see how the turning radius is of this ram. That's not too bad. Not as bad as the uh, <laughs> the worst one is the uh, the Nissan Frontier, the older one that I drove. Wow, that was crazy big for a small truck. But what I like about this truck, it just feels so smooth. Um, you know, it's obviously a big truck. This doesn't feel as intimidating. I don't know. It's got more. This thing feels a little much more better than the. Uh, even though I just recently recently drove the Toyota Tacoma, the brand new one. Um, it's just you know this this feels a little bit lighter in terms of it, but it's really nice. I mean, this truck just feels so nice. Um, very smooth. You know, everything's got really nice feeling to it. Let's go ahead and stop. You know, when you come in. Yeah, this V8 feels nice. Now we have no types of uh, sports type of, uh, I don't think there's any type of sports setting or anything like that in this one. So, but yeah, it still feels, feels good. I mean, it's not, it's a big heavy truck, of course, but as you can see this V8 is very smooth, very quiet. Uh, the power feels fantastic and you can definitely hear the V8 noise. Very nice. Uh, like this is just, you know, if you pour it into it, eight speed really, really gets going there. Got plenty of power. Um, plenty of power with it's almost 400 horsepower and so the brakes the brakes got a very good feeling to them as well nice and linear obviously this is a heavy truck so you know it's not gonna be a quick one but um, you know it's an excellent truck nonetheless so so smooth so quiet I really really like this Ram 1500 especially the interior it's you know you can't go wrong with one of these fantastic engine and fantastic interiors that Dodge or Stellantis as you might call it has done to this tram so I sure hope they don't put these things up and you know we need that V8 sound and not a you know electric motor so very easy driving I feel this is much easier in terms of it feels much more maneuverable than the, the tundra to me they're trying to feel like big the hood is much higher um it felt, it felt like a more like a semi i don't know why but i'm um, still it's a good truck it's got a lot of power but uh this v8 just sounds good it's, it's this feels much more like a more pleasurable to drive but i mean i can't go around i have to drive the toyota again um i have driven one of these before it was a 2020 or 2021 dodge ram but obviously this has been 2022 so you know i guess we'll go over the changes of what's uh, up with the new 2022 models uh besides that of course you got the 10th anniversary edition you got the gt packages now that's included with some of the packages some of the trims so but interior wise i mean it's still good obviously we don't have the 12 inch screen here uh that's you know competitive with the ford's new one and of course it's got the biggest screen which is 14 inches of, you know vertical vertical but um excuse me horizontal but obviously uh you know this is still a very nice screen it's about the same size as ford's eight inch you know thing so but obviously it depends on what options but there's still plenty of uh, capabilities you can see we got the uh if we go to nab nab's got a very nice you know nav system on it obviously it looks like it's in a night setting but overall this truck's really drives really nice it feels the steering feels pretty pretty nice and direct doesn't feel like any truck steering um it's got a nice uh pretty decent direct it's pretty light it's a kind of very light feeling to it so not much of a feeling but it does the truck does go where where you point it to and that and the ride is really smooth very smooth ride uh the suspension obviously is more of a base model so uh but it's got a super smooth ride you know obviously obviously i want to attach up a trx uh which of course that is a much more of an aggressive truck but this thing still feels really good though i mean and i love, love i love the v8 sound of this thing so it's oh man if you're an enthusiast and you love driving and you gotta have some audio you know, some audio, audio you know, some auditory noise um of course driving an ev is fun and fast so of course you know that's part of it but this thing just feels so fantastic with the v8 so 
And the, yeah, the brakes are really nice. Got a really nice feeling to them. Plenty of power. Uh, slightly bit over a boosted, but it definitely does a good job. So, guys, in fantastic interior. Everything's here. Your fingertips and hands. Um, you know, it's really comfortable seats, too. I love the cloth seats. Uh, they feel to me so much better than the leather. Even though leather's nice, but... And this truck uh, does go. That's how the... Oh yeah, oh yes, semi power, buddy. Is that a cop? I'm gonna be slow down, guys. But yeah, very fast truck, very quick truck for its V8. You know, it doesn't have the EcoBoost power, but I'm sure the TRX will handle that. But this thing feels fantastically, plenty of power. Um, man, it's, it's just an awesome truck, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously a big truck, but they still handle pretty decently. We don't feel like you know, out of control and all that, but. Um, so here we guys behind the steering wheel we do have some controls for the radio as you can see i can turn the volume up on this one here and turn it down and uh, here we can change stations as well on the back so we got some black buttons here in the back behind the steering wheel but um overall really nice this tr this ram trucks are excellent you know the 2022 models of course had some changes but this is still a super nice truck it's comfortable quiet and the eight speed automatic transmission it feels fantastically smooth really nice what dodge has done to these trucks so these are more you know these are more of a you know which is a term of a lot obviously this is not you know any luxury you know, don't have any high options but you know this type of technology would have been fine a few years ago in a luxury car obviously you don't have leather seats and stuff but this thing you know digital screens so quiet plenty of plenty quick you know all this technology but all the kinds of connections and all that fantastic you know what you can get now in a truck compared to a you know like everybody says you can even get more of a nice you know get a king ranch or a platinum truck and that'd be just as good as any luxury car as well so there's not much to what you can do to these uh you know there's not much more you can ask for and you have a lot of capability with this truck you can tow you can haul you can you know put in stuff in the back you know treat them as a family hauler all kinds of great things that this trucks are so but I guess I have a little quick, we want to, I want to give out a big shout out to, big shout out to Barto yeah. Ford for allowing me some time with this Ram 1500. Really nice truck. Thank you, Randy, as well for giving me the keys. A nice gentleman that's part of the team here at Barto Ford. So, so what do you guys think of this Dutch Ram? A really nice truck, guys. I really like this thing. Um, obviously, you know, depends on your mark, but now I've driven, you know, the uh, F 150, the Ram 1500, the new Toyota Tundra. Um, you know, yeah, the Toyota Scott feels a little bit more quality in terms of materials I see, but obviously this is not the best that Dodge has to offer this this, this configuration. Uh, and then also for you know, they got really nice materials as well. It depends more on your choice. I think still, you know, obviously Toyota's you know played up their game now with the new Tundra. Obviously, Dodge still kind of leads the way in terms of all the way everything's designed. I still like it quite a bit. Um, really, really nice. So Dodge then a Ram, excuse me, Ram has done a great job in terms of you know whatever things have changed, they added in the way this truck feels. So um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review of this 2022 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, thank you very much, guys, to those that have subscribed. Thank you for being here with me on the channel. You guys have a fantastic day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.